The operator of the plant at the center of Japan's nuclear crisis has released video of compartments beneath the reactor cores. Tokyo Electric Power Company sent in workers to examine the suppression chambers for the first time since the accident last March. They found radiation levels there are too high for people to carry out inspections. The video shows workers entering the basements of the number two and number three reactor buildings. One of them tried opening the door to the suppression chamber at the number three, but he couldn't. He tried to kick it open, but the door didn't budge. TEPCO officials believe a hydrogen explosion last March mangled the door. The images are blurry, but uh, this video shows the number two reactor workers were able to open the door to the suppression chamber in that building and measure radiation. Workers detected levels of up to 160 millisieverts per hour. The reading means crews can only stay inside for 20 minutes. Then their exposure reaches the government's permissible limit. TEPCO officials say they'll consider sending in robots to conduct inspections in order to decommission the plant's disabled reactors. Engineers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant have taken their first look inside one of the crippled reactors. They used an underwater camera to see what was left after a hydrogen explosion last March. The engineers sent the camera into the number four reactor. The images show what appears to be wreckage in the bottom of the reactor vessel and a large amount of floating material in the water. The camera showed similar floating material in the spent fuel pool in the reactor building. Engineers say visibility in the pool has dropped significantly since last month. The engineers want to start removing fuel rods from the pool by December next year. They say they can't remove the fuel rods unless the water is much clearer. They plan to find out where the floating material came from. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says cooling water in one of the facilities damaged the reactor is much shallower than previously thought. Tokyo Electric Power Company confirmed on Monday that the water is 60 centimeters deep by inserting an endoscope into the number two reactor. The survey was the second at the reactor since January. The firm has been injecting nearly nine tons of water per hour into the reactor to cool melted fuel that fell to the bottom of the reactor's containment vessel. The low level indicates the water continues to leak into the reactor building through suppression chambers under the vessel. The utility says the fuel is still being cooled as the water temperature remains at around 48 degrees Celsius. The latest findings suggest the decommissioning the reactor could be much harder than expected. The firm may need to repair the vessel so it can be filled with water to block strong radiation. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi plant is again inserting a camera into one of its damaged reactors. Workers at TEPCO are trying to get a better look inside the number two reactor. Crews used an industrial endoscope in January to look inside the containment vessel. They obtained images of parts of the walls and pipes. But they were unable to see the contaminated water at the bottom. Their fiber optic line was not long enough. This time, workers will insert a longer line to monitor the surface conditions and temperature of the water. They'll also put a dosimeter inside to measure radiation levels on and near the walls. TEPCO spokespersons say they want to confirm that the fuel that melted and fell to the bottom of the vessel is being properly cooled. They say the radiation checks will be useful in developing the equipment needed for the complete shutdown of the reactors. Tokyo Electric Power Company says about 80 liters of contaminated water has leaked into the sea near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The water contains radioactive strontium. TEPCO employees found a break in a pipe on Monday morning. It took the workers 20 minutes to stop the leak. The firm estimates that 120 tons of water escaped. It says 80 litres reached the ocean via a SOA system. TEPCO says it's building a safety barrier for the SOA, but it's still under construction and was unable to stop the spill. A similar incident occurred at the plant last December. Technicians have done something they haven't done since the accident last March at Fukushima Daiichi. They measured radiation inside the number two reactor. They found the levels were extremely high. 
Technicians with Tokyo Electric Power Company placed a dosimeter inside the reactor's containment vessel. They say radiation levels increased as they lowered the instrument. This suggests nuclear fuel melted down and collected at the bottom of the vessel. The dosimeter registered a maximum of 72.9 sieverts per hour. A person exposed to those levels would die within about seven minutes. The technicians also learned that the water used to cool the reactor is only 60 centimetres deep. They thought the level was about three metres. TEPCO officials suspect the suppression chamber at the bottom of the vessel may have been destroyed. A nuclear expert says the new findings at the number two reactor may slow down the work to decommission the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Masanori Naito says TEPCO's next job is to find out where the water leakage is occurring. The utility will have to develop radiation-resistant cameras and new robots. It is going to be a hard task to find the damaged parts that are causing water leakage in the containment vessel. That's because the vessel has a large surface area.